initially we will have random color assignment to each region our goal state is a valid color assignment where no adjacent regions have the same color now let's see steps to solve this problem using hill climbing step 1 initial random assignment hello welcome or welcome back to being passionate learner in this video we will explore the topic of local search for constant satisfaction problems this video is organized into five main sections we will start by introducing local search then we will move on to hill climbing search after that we will look at the map coloring problem as an example of local search we will then explore simulated annealing with map coloring and then we will discuss when it's best to use local search after that we will conclude our video introduction to local search local search algorithms are powerful tool for solving constant satisfaction problems local search algorithms operate by moving one solution to another within the solution space local search is used to find a solution by exploring the state space of a possible assignments instead of examining the entire search space which can be computationally expensive local search starts with an initial solution and incrementally moves towards an improved one it aims to find a solution by making incremental changes rather than searching the entire solution space unlike backtracking local search explores complete assignments and tries to improve them step by step This method is effective when you are dealing with large or complex problems. These algorithms are often used in real world problems where finding an exact solution is less important than finding a good enough solution quickly. Hill climbing search. Hill climbing is a local search algorithm that continually moves towards a high value or the low cost solution. Hill climbing search is one of the simplest local search methods. it evaluates the current solution and makes small modifications attempting to improve the solution step by step while its straightforward approach hill climbing has its limitations it can get stuck at local maxima where there is no better solution nearby or where there is no clear direction for improvement despite these issues it is a useful technique for problems with simple landscapes hill climbing example map coloring problem let's apply hill climbing to the map coloring problem our goal is to assign colors to the regions of a map such that no two adjacent regions share the same color we begin with a random assignment of colors and then iteratively change the color of regions to reduce conflicts over time this lead to a solution where no neighboring regions share the same color we have map with five regions r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 there are three available colors red green and blue initially we will have random color assignment to each region our goal state is a valid color assignment where no adjacent regions have the same color now let's see steps to solve this problem using hill climbing step 1 initial random assignment let's consider a map with five regions r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 there are three available colors red green and blue so we will have random assignment where we will have r1 is red r2 is red r3 is green r4 is blue and r5 is green after this random assignment conflicts are detected so r1 and r2 are adjacent but both are colored red and creating a conflict we have another conflict r3 and r5 are adjacent and both are colored green at this stage the solution is invalid because two conflicts r1 r2 and r3 r5 violates the coloring constraints step 2 identify conflicts and perform hill climbing first we will evaluate conflicts check each pair of adjacent regions if they share same color it is a conflict currently we have two conflict r1 r2 both are red 
and R3, R5 both are green. Now choose a conflict to resolve. So select the first conflict R1, R2. We need to change the color of one of these regions to resolve this conflict. Now assign R2 a new color, green or a blue. Let's assign blue to R2. So new assignment will be R1 is red, R2 is blue, R3 is green, R4 is blue and R5 is green. Conflict between R1 and R2 is now resolved. Next, resolve conflict for R3 and R5. For the second conflict, R3 and R5. Assign R5 a new color. Assign blue to R5 as it's different from the green. Now new color assignment would be R1 red, R2 blue, R3 green, R4 blue, R5 blue. The conflict between R3 and R5 is now resolved. Step 3. Final state. After making adjustments, all adjacent regions now have different colors. The final color assignment will be R1 red, R2 blue, R3 green, R4 blue, R5 blue. There are no conflicts in the final solution. The map is successfully colored using three colors with no two adjacent regions sharing the same color. So our goal is achieved. In hill climbing, we have used five different steps. We started with a random assignment of colors to regions. Then we have identified conflicts where the adjacent regions share the same color. Then we have used hill climbing to resolve conflict by changing the color of one region in each conflicting pair. Then we have continued solving conflicts until there is no conflict left. Then we reach to a final state with a valid color assignment where no adjacent regions share the same color. This process illustrates how hill climbing can iteratively improve the solution to the map coloring problem, minimizing the number of conflicts step by step until a valid solution is reached. An objective function decides the quality of some state by a problem specification. Sometimes called its value, a state can be evaluated by something like the minimum conflict heuristic or other such heuristics. We can plot for some arbitrary local search map coloring problem the objective function for each state within their neighborhood and observe the different components. The plot will look something like this. On x-axis we have state space and on y-axis we have an objective function Simulated annealing. Simulated annealing is another local search technique, but it differs significantly from hill climbing. Simulated annealing is a probabilistic technique for approximating the global optimum. While hill climbing only moves towards better solution, simulated annealing allows occasional worse moves in order to escape local maxima. This method is inspired by the process of annealing in metallurgy where material is heated and then slowly cooled to reach a low energy state. The same principle is applied here to find a near optimal solution. Simulated annealing in the map coloring problem starts in a similar way to hill climbing with a random color assignment and some conflicts. However, simulated annealing allows the solution to get worse occasionally, accepting conflicts temporarily to escape local maxima. As the process continues, the algorithm cools down and the probability of accepting worse moves decreases, leading to an optimal solution. When to use local search? Local search algorithms are ideal for problems where the solution space is too large to be explored and where finding an exact solution may be unnecessary. They are particularly useful in optimization problems such as scheduling, routing and layout design where the goal is to find a good enough solution in a reasonable amount of time. By focusing on improving the current solution, Rather than searching the entire space, local search techniques can provide fast and efficient results. Conclusion Local search methods like hill climbing and simulated annealing 
offer powerful tools for solving constant satisfaction problems, especially when the solution space is large and complex. While these methods can be highly effective, they also come with their own set of challenges, such as the risk of getting stuck in local maxima or requiring careful tuning of parameters like temperature in simulated annealing. Ultimately, the structure of the problem and the desired outcome will dictate which local search technique is most appropriate. I will upload video on structure of the problem soon. See you in my next video. Till then, being passionate learner, keep learning. Thank you.